Hello, dear ones. Hi, Shayla. It is a pleasure, Kalina. It's a pleasure to be with you, too. I really especially like you a lot. Your presence has been around looking after our kitty from time to time. <laughs> so I am very, very happy to speak with you in this <laughs> way. And I am also very happy to be able to reach out to my dear friends. Yes. Yes. Thank you for being with us tonight. The pleasure is mine. Ooh, huh, okay, so, um, she says, Hello, dear Shayla. At first, I'd like to thank you for posting for me to Vashta. It's exactly how I wanted to see you. On other pictures, you seemed more reserved, and for this portrait, you got more expressive. Mm. And great was that I got a vision in advance, so I can trust more to what I see and feel. You've been helping me to release certain subconscious beliefs for a few months now. These releases are of certain type, related to relationships, bonds, love, self-love, and even sexuality. This is making me a bit confused because it got so private, intense, intimate. So question one. Is this what you are doing with me just for the sake of my progress? Or is there something more about our connection in this manner? Let's start, dear one, with speaking more clearly from my own self to you. The connection and sharing was not just subconscious. There were many conscious beliefs that you and I have whittled through together and all of those things that you have had to experience I've been able to have the pleasure with intimate and deep things very scary things but I'm here to assure you that these things are not just progress of your emotional self this is a progress that goes beyond the limit of your physical body. It goes well into your non-physical. It goes well into many members of the Obersoul that we share. It goes deeply into many beings who are on earth and who are not. Your growth is our growth in return. This is why my own desire to feel, my own desire to share, my own desire to create with you has come. When we create together, it is the most intimate energy in expansion for both of us. There are so many times, dear one, that I have brought forward an idea subconsciously and then consciously to you. You worked on that idea mentally, but in your energy the work was so much more profound. The work was so much deeper and denser, and even when times were feeling hard for you, I was able to see the growth in the good way. I was able to see how much you cleared out from beneath you. Such an expansive and elastic soul that we share, that pulling on one's energy pulls on all of ours. We are that connected. Hmm. Thank you. So uh, question two, do we have some planned work to do together soon and that's why you are helping me with these releases? Um, for example, with uh, introducing kids to Earth parents like Awaken did? There are so many things that we are already doing together. Not just the things that you can remember, not just the things that you think in your mind, not just the things that you realize when we're speaking, but things in dream states, things in unconscious thoughts, things that span a vast majority of human collectives. Remember that there are not as many oversouls on this planet as you think. 
all the humans, all the Ayel, all of the Playel, all of the greatest Asani, Eshikani, and the entities who have been involved with this Earth Hybrid Collective, understand and know that the vastness of the energy that is apparent to most is very small in comparison. One change, one small change in you represents a large change for many of us. Although it feels vast and large and expansive, the amounts of Oversouls, there are so many beings within the one Oversoul that we reside in. And as you shift, we all shift. Am I being selfish in certain ways when I share my energy with you? Perhaps some look at it that way, but I don't see the separation in us. I don't see the separation that we've ever had. So when I go on my own day and I am not connected to you and I speak freely and gaily with my voice abrupt to the wind, loud, connecting to all people who surround me, that also helps you and also expands you. Is there work to be done, mm -hmm. dear friend, dear love? Of course there's work to be done. We're doing it right now. Is there bigger work to be done? You cannot wait to see this answer. I'll give you a hint. The biggest work that can be done is coming. Shifting people's awareness to their children is very important. It is large work, but that's not all of the work that you're doing. When we're setting up our energies to sink together more deeply, that's not all of the work that we're doing. When we set our hearts in sync with one another, that's not all the work that we have. The work we're doing is shifting a paradigm of consciousness throughout human and human hybrid races who share this Earth Collective's energy. All of us, dear friend, all of us are shifting, and you are one beautiful part of all of that. Mm -hmm. She also says, um, at the beginning when I connected to you, I felt like we are spending a lot of time together when I'm on the ship during dream time, uh, teaching each other, etc. I feel like we enjoy each other's company and I am attracted to spend time with you when I am there. Question three, could you please tell me more about times we met on ships or maybe even in physical, although I don't remember, what were we doing? How do you experience it? <laughs> this is more than you remember now, but I promise you the more that you think about this, the more parts will come back to you. Have we had fun together? The understatement of a lifetime. Of course, every moment that we have is such an extraordinary amount of fun. I know that Sometimes many beings on the ship get very serious and that is their responsibility and personality that stakes them to be that way. But myself and you, we don't have that bound. We have our own ability to have fun. There are so many times that we've met on the ship. There are so many times that we have met elsewhere, in physical, in dream state, and in semi-physical realms. Those semi-physical realms are where we've done a great deal of the work, but in your sleep state is where most of it's been done. I want to share, if time permits, three experiences. Is three experiences acceptable to your oh, time limits? Absolutely, yeah, it is for me. Thank you. You're Tuan. welcome. With three times, the very first, myself and you were speaking, and we were speaking to a large group of children who were being introduced energetically to the physical appearance of their parents for the very first time. They have been linked to their minds. They know what they look like, but they never were able to see real video footage, as you would call it, real technology that showed the physical body in real time. 
And as we announced to the children that they would be able to see the flesh and blood version of their mothers and fathers, they began to cry and some began to laugh and some had no emotional reaction at all. <laughs> but this brought both of us tears and laughter beyond all count. That was one of my favorite moments with you since we have begun to meld so deeply. Second experience, a similar circumstance as children were around and they were in a learning process, but they were not given an announcement that large. They were just told that they were going to visit a real human being in this way, and that was you. This was one of the very first times that you spoke to the children directly, and you felt very awkward while you spoke to them about certain things. You did not expect the children of such an age to talk explicitly about sexuality and explicitly about the going-ons of humans in the day-to-day. -day. <laughs> and it made you uncomfortable, but in that discomfort you found such a joy and such a laughter. And that was my second favorite time. The third time, we were in a group meeting with many other beings. There were over 12 types of races and over 40 people on a larger ship. And as we went and spoke to them, you were first introduced to a race of gray hybrids that do not come to Earth very often. They have what some would probably think of an exterior hybrid program where they do use hybrids but they use other races to get the material to do the genetic mixing and after the children are being born then they are shipped off to that race. They came as a supervising visit. They came to put their eyes on the program. They wanted to see how these wonderful children of theirs were behaving so wonderfully and learning such a great deal and that is where they had the opportunity to meet you together me and you answered all of the questions perfectly they fell in love with both of us and they were extremely happy with the way that your own self and myself had been speaking to the children now there are so many more things that we've done time remains short in the way I can explain if I did not have an energetic limit in the human's body I could speak to you in this fashion for days and days mm -hmm. but for this moment I have to uh, consider the fact of his energy I have to consider the fact of both of your time and I also have to consider how much more we still have to do tonight after you sleep so I'm mm -hmm. going to explain my own love is very deep Thank you, Kalina, and thank, thank you. you, my dear friend. We are going to do great work together. Please keep your excitement high.